Hi, I'm Brenda and welcome to this week's video. I'm doing a part two to my vintage home decor haul. I'll list part one over here. So if you head on over to that after you finish this video, you can catch up on what I picked up in, in um, my first bag. So a little bit of backstory. I've always on this channel uh, refinished furniture and I want to save home decor as much as I want to save furniture. So I've been dabbling with the idea of um, picking up vintage home decor and selling that as well on my Etsy um, and my website. So I'm just learning. I, it's only the beginning. I'm picking up things that I recognize the name of or that I like the look of and I think would look nice in a vintage home so I am learning along the way but I did a massive charity shop haul and I bought three bags worth of vintage goodies so video one was the first bag this is going to be the second bag and then I'll do a third and final video for the third bag of goodies that I picked up so going straight into it the first one is this lovely ornate brass teapot and it's got these little engravings on the side here and I think that would just look lovely in a kitchen on the side um it's not brass sorry I think it's brass plated and it's got these tight these little decorative feet as well so I think this would look nice in a kitchen, sort of on a on a sideboard maybe with some other decorative items. The metal with some wood. So I think that's really pretty. I've seen similar ones listed on eBay for, I think it was about 24. So I'll probably list it around there. And I paid five pounds. To this sticking with the brass theme I picked up this lovely little trinket container and I think this is called Indian brass I think where it's got the little brass accents and then this bit in the middle and it's got this lovely little flower design And I just think that would be lovely on a dressing table or on a sideboard. Just a nice little display piece. This this brass, oh, wrong way. <laughs> this little brass vase with the same flower pattern. So, yeah, I think that would look really nice. And, oh, I think I forgot. To, so I think for this, this little pot, she charged me a pound. There wasn't a price tag on it, but she charged me a pound at the till. And then this one, I paid £3.50 for this one. And the last brass item, yeah, was this candlestick. So I paid £2.50 for this one. And I think I'll probably hang on to this until I find a matching candlestick because I think it'd be nice to sell them in pairs or another brass candlestick. I also picked up this lovely glass candlestick holder. This is not vintage, but I just really liked the colour and the, the glass. I thought that would look really pretty as well. And I paid, hmm, I think I paid about £1.50 for that one. Then I picked up this lovely little bowl with these floral designs on the side. 
and at the bottom it's Havilland and Co. Limoges, Limoges, and I paid one pound fifty, and I just thought it was so pretty, and would make a lovely little trinket dish on someone's dressing table, or even a, maybe like a little sugar bowl, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what it would have been originally. If you know, then please do let me know in the comments below. This is a vintage Sadler beer stein that I picked up. And I've seen it listed for around £40 on Etsy, but I, I, it's not a sold price. So I'll have to do a bit more investigation on what to list it for. I paid £4.50 if you can see the Sadler England on the bottom there. Some of the gold has rubbed off on the handle here but it is a, a lovely uh, print on there. Next are these Arcopal little coffee cups and saucers. I think this is called the brown onion pattern, but I just think it's so vintage and perfect for like autumn decor. I just love that color. And then it's the, the white milk glass. So it's those two little cups and then the two saucers as well. And then you can just see the Arcopal on there. So those, yeah, in really nice condition. And I paid £1.50, £1.50 for each cup and saucer. Um, so £3 in total for the two. And also um, Milk Glass and Arcopal. I picked up six of these little mugs with this blue rose design and it was six for four pounds so there's no sauces it's just just the mugs but they're all in really nice condition and i just love the the blue and white theme and the pretty little roses on them so yeah, six of those. I found some more Pyrex. So it was these two casserole dishes. And I believe this is called the Spring Garden Design. So it's this really little, really pretty flower arrangement on there. And it's these two casserole dishes. This one is marked like that, Pyrex England, and let me just move the price. That uh, that's got the imprint. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but the imprint in today that says Pyrex England. So I paid £2.50 for that bowl and I believe I paid £2.50 for this one as well. So I think I'll sell these individually because there is another casserole dish to the set and I don't have that one. So I think I'll just list these individually. More Pyrex. I found this little casserole dish and I want to say that this print is called Tuscany Market. It's got all these vegetables on it. And this just is perfect for autumn. I paid three pounds for this one. And yeah, I just really love the vegetable print. I'm still to work out what Pyrex prints are in demand and which aren't. So I'm just sort of picking them up as I see them and I'll see what sells and what doesn't. The last little bit of Pyrex in this 
uh, bag is this gravy boat. And I think this print is called Chelsea. And I don't think this is particularly sought, sought after. So I don't think I'll make particularly huge profit. I only paid pound fifty, But yeah, I think that one might take a bit longer to sell. The second to last item is this little casserole dish. And it's got this lovely fluted design on the lid. I paid £4.50 for this. And it's Johnson Brothers Ironstone. And I think this little floral pattern is called Dreamland. It's just so cute. It's such a simple decoration. Oh, help if I showed you the right way around. Yeah, it's just such a cute design, simple. And then it's got this blue border around there. So yeah, I paid £4.50. And we'll just have to see how that does. And then the last piece, and I think potentially the most exciting, is this little terrine. Now this is Wedgwood, and I think the design is Raphael. If you look there. And it's got this lovely floral and what may be swallow pattern. And when I Google lens searched this particular design, this came up as antique circa 1880, which is mind boggling to me how this has survived that long. There's no chips on it, nothing. It's in such good condition. I paid £5.50, but one thing I did notice is the images online, these little flowers, they're not coloured in. So these have got colour in the flowers. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, if anyone knows, then please do let me know in the comments. Um, and then it's got this sort of like engraving Wedgwood in there. So it says C Wedgwood 3DU or something like that. I don't know if you'll be able to make it out. I'll try and insert a picture somewhere here so you can see. So, yeah, potentially that's from like the late 1800s, which is, yeah, I find fascinating. So that's it. That's all of the haul for this particular bag. And I'll do the third bag in another video. So stay tuned and subscribe if you want to be notified when the next haul video goes up. Thanks. Bye.